Kent bowled out Glamorgan for 260 runs to take control on day one in Canterbury. Glamorgan's day got off to the worst possible start. After just four balls, James Cuttleborough went for a duck. Will Bragg followed shortly after for 14, Mitchell Claydon doing the damage this time. Chris Cook did his best to settle Good Morgan down at the crease, but Captain Jack Rudolph was dismissed for a lowly four runs, Claydon striking again. Cook and Anayan Donald gave Glamorgan a breather, adding a bit of stability to their innings. Donald was fortunate to escape being removed, saved by a dropped ball. But Cook wasn't so lucky. Cole's taking his second wicket, Cook out for 45. Donald started the afternoon session as swiftly as the morning, but Hugh Bernard removed the Welsh 19-year-old for 37 off 37 balls. Graham Wagg maintained the pace Donald set, hitting some lovely boundaries on his way to a 40 runs. But he would not exceed this mark, Darren Stevens removing him. Craig Mercedes' innings were almost a carbon copy of Wagg's, catching the eye with some huge shots. Mashida would suffer the same fate too, this time going to Bernard for a rapid 63 of 74 balls. Harry Podmore was the last Glamorgan man to go, Clayton taking his fourth wicket for just four runs. Glamorgan, 260 all out. Kent enjoyed a near flawless evening session with the bat as Daniel Bell Drummond and Tom Latham forged an effective partnership. Bell Drummond reaches half ton with this shot, while Latham hit four off the very last ball of the day, the pair scoring 124 runs between them. Kent heads into day two, 136 runs behind Glamorgan, with all 10 wickets remaining.